Our whistleblower says since the assessor Debbie Churchill hired her daughter, experience appraisers have left, replacing one with her son-in-law. Every year, homeowners pay a property tax. A county assessor measures and specs every six years, determining your home's value. It can affect how much in taxes you have to pony up. For a job this important, you want to have the best person. But in the Dodge County Assessor's Office, some say that's just not the case. Sources reached out to Three News Now investigators concerned with the head assessor, Debbie Churchill, especially after she hired her own daughter. It was, it was a good work environment until she started, and then it just went downhill from then. Coralie Cutros worked as an assessor's assistant for two and a half years. She saw three experienced appraisers quit after Churchill hired her daughter, a nanny, and replaced the head appraiser with her son-in-law. We were told he has some appraiser experience in real estate. We asked for copies of both the daughter and son-in-law's resumes. We didn't get them. We reached out to both family members who refused to comment. Nepotism, favoritism. I mean, it's making us like we're all trash and why should we do anything? Because, you know, her family members get away with and can do what they want. Sources claim Churchill gave the jobs to her family without posting the positions online. She claims both were posted for two weeks on Indeed.com, only getting one response for the head appraiser, who she says was unqualified. We obtained a form disclosing her son-in-law's hiring that says otherwise. In a written comment by Churchill, she claims she received no responses. It says, quote, he was my best and only option. We asked for clarification, but she declined. Churchill also refused an on-camera interview, but told us she doesn't have proof of the post, saying, frankly, I've never had to prove to someone I did what I said I did. My word has always been good enough. Our investigative producer ran a test posting a job on Indeed to see if he would get some kind of notification, and he did and that he couldn't find a way to even delete the post, only to archive it. Nobody ever could find anything. Debbie's son-in-law's starting pay is over $62,000 a year. He makes $2 more an hour than his predecessor, who only held the position for nearly four months. In a way, you have a double nepotism in this case, and it's really unfortunate. I think most people would know right away that's wrong, and as taxpayers, as citizens, they're being hurt. Gavin Geis is the executive director of Common Cause, a government watch organization. Any candidate that's hired, even if it is family, is meeting certain standards. That they aren't just being hired because they're family, but they're hired because they're the best candidate available. While this may seem unethical, it's perfectly legal. State law says if a family member is not in your immediate care or your spouse, it's okay. Otherwise, it would require a county board approval. It's something that people inherently understand as wrong. It strikes them at the core of who they are that government positions, government resources, shouldn't be used to benefit an individual or their family. After Three News Now reached out to Churchill, Corley says the office atmosphere turned hostile. And she looked right at me and she says, if the drama don't quit in this office, I will fire everyone in this office. And it's like, why are you threatening us to fire us? Churchill gave the entire office documents to sign, including this agreement, demanding employees not to speak publicly or internally about wages after some of the staff, including Coralie, complained what Churchill's son-in-law is making. It places everyone on a 30-day probation period it says things like, quote, I also understand due to certain drama caused in the past by wage discussions, there's a definite possibility any future raise may be withheld. Sign that or a resignation letter. Coralie decided not to sign either. She goes, oh, I'm terminating you. And I go, well, why? And she goes, because you're unhappy. Oh, that's a good reason. Before her firing, Coralie brought her concerns to the Dodge County Board of Supervisors. The response, Churchill can do what she wants. I'm really not going to comment on that. As uh, county board chair, um, the assessor uh, is an elected official, and, and in this case, 
governs her, the assessor's departments, her jurisdiction. And that's why Coralie and others are getting the story out. They see this as an abuse of a government position, a clear case of nepotism and favoritism. While legal, it doesn't sit right with them. I mean, I think she just wants to make it a family thing and um, hire her family members and then she can kind of run them how she wants and no one will stand up to her. It would take a change of states or local law to make it harder to hire family members. We spoke to State Senator Lynn Walls, who represents Dodge County. She promises to look into the law, saying, I do see a loophole in the law, and my staff and I are looking at legislation to remedy the situation. As for Cora Lee, she will enjoy some time off before searching for another job. We also just learned Corley might not be eligible for unemployment. Churchill says she was fired for being insubordinate, a claim Corley denies, and the state is investigating. And if you're interested in attending the Dodge County Board of Supervisors meeting, that's going to be held this morning at 9 a.m. Reporting in the studio, Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now.